Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll explain bone cancer, the types, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. So what is bone cancer? Bone cancer can be primary, which means it starts in the bone itself and is repaired, or secondary, which means it spreads to bone from another organ. Secondary bone cancer is much more common, about 10 to 100 times more common than primary. Now let's see the types of primary bone cancer. The main types of primary bone cancer are osteosarcoma, which means an aggressive bone cancer seen in teenagers or young adults and often near the knee or upper arm. Wings sarcoma, which means a childhood adolescent bone cancer often in pelvis, ribs, or long bones, showing an onion skin x-ray pattern. Chondrosarcoma, which means a cartilage-based cancer in adults aged 40 to 70 and it's slower growing. Other rare types include fibrosarcoma, which means cancer from fibrous tissue, and chordoma, which means cancer that develops in the spine base. Now let's see about secondary metastatic bone cancer. Secondary bone cancer is far more common and it often comes from breast, prostate, lung, kidney, or thyroid cancers, which means cancer starting in those organs. It usually affects the spine, pelvis, ribs, or long bones. Complications include bone pain, pathological fractures, which means broken bones with minimal trauma, and spinal cord compression, which means the tumor pressing on the nerves in the spine, and high calcium, which means too much calcium in the blood, causing thirst, confusion, or arrhythmias, which means abnormal heart rhythms. Now let's see the key symptoms. Key symptoms are persistent bone pain, especially at night and not relieved by rest, swelling or a lump over the bone, and fractures after minimal injury. Other signs include fatigue, weight loss, or fever, and with metastasis, which means cancer spread, patients may also have nerve problems from spinal cord compression because of tumor pressing on nerves, or high calcium symptoms such as confusion and excessive thirst. Diagnosis starts with x-rays, which may show destructive or sclerotic hardened bone changes and patterns like sunburst appearance, which means radiating bone growth, and Cotman's triangle, which is raised periosteum pattern, or onion skin, layered bone appearance. This one here is sunburst appearance, as you can see here, and this one is Cotman's triangle. MRI, which means magnetic imaging, or CT scans, define the tumor and staging. Bone scans or PET scans check for the spread. A biopsy, which means taking a tissue sample, is always required to confirm the diagnosis. Blood tests may show high calcium in the blood, or raised alkaline phosphatase, which is an enzyme linked to bone activity, or LDH, which is a marker of cell damage. Treatment for primary bone cancer usually includes surgery, operation with limbs bearing preferred whenever possible. Chemotherapy which means anti-cancer drugs, is vital for osteosarcoma and Wings sarcoma. Radiotherapy is used mainly for Wings sarcoma or for symptom relief. These cancers are always managed with the multidisciplinary team, which means a team of specialists working together. Now let's see the treatment for secondary bone cancer. For secondary bone cancers, treatment focuses on the original cancer. Bone-targeted drugs such as bisphosphonates or danosumab, which means medications that strengthen bones, help protect the bone. Radiotherapy can help relieve pain and prevent fractures. Surgery may be needed to stabilize bones or relieve spinal cord compression, which means nerve pressure. Supportive care includes pain management and physiotherapy. Now let's see the prognosis. Prognosis depends on the cancer type and stage. For osteosarcoma and Wings sarcoma, survival is about 60-70% to 70 if localized and treated early. Chondrosarcoma outcomes depend on the tumor grade, how aggressive it looks under the microscope. For secondary bone cancers, prognosis depends on the original cancer. Early diagnosis always improves outcomes. To summarize, bone cancer may be primary, which starts in the bone and is rare, or secondary, which spreads from other cancer and it's more common. Symptoms include persistent pain, swelling, fractures, and systemic signs, which means whole body symptoms. Diagnosis always requires imaging and a biopsy, which means a tissue test, and early detection always improves outcomes. For more details on osteosarcoma, please watch my dedicated video linked here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more medical content. Bye-bye.